uh, Richard has been telling me about the uh, 14 story for the latest expansion there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seems interesting. To not very not very many games at all have you take on a mentor role. Yeah. So that's they cool. do. I don't know how much he's told you. Um, uh, he hasn't gotten into too many specifics. Um, they did a really cool thing because um, it was it was very clear from a lot of the preview footage and from literal things they said uh -huh. that this expansion was going to have a lot of Final Fantasy IX references. Okay. Um, like at at a point in the game, you go to a place called Alexandria. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Um, they're they're at war with like countries that exist in FF9. Oh no, Burmesia. Yeah, Burmesia is mentioned. It's it's not that much detail, but it's like the names are the same. Uh -huh. They even have a little thing that's like the the ruins of ancient Alexandria, and it's like the the town that you're right. in at the right. start with Vivi. Yeah. Um, there there's a little thing that you do in one of the ending zones that's you do the little the the play oh, that cool. you do for the nobles in the beginning yeah, yeah, yeah. of the game. So the, the sword fighting mini game. Yeah. Well, or it's like not, it's not like a mini game. It's literally just like a cutscene moment. Okay, but okay. it's it's a callback to Final Fantasy yeah. IX. Yeah. Right. And as part of that, they introduced this character uh, named Steen. And Steen is a uh, I, I learned this. I didn't know a gemstone that is very like chemical composition and like whatever study of like crystals, uh -huh. very similar to garnet. Okay. So like an yep. obvious it's Garnet. comparison yeah. to Garnet. She is the princess of Alexandria. Okay. You okay. interact with her later in the game. And so it's wow, like they're, Wow, they're they're getting in there for the mineral nerds. Right. <laughs> just, just... Um So the a lot of the pre release stuff was like, okay, there's Fiend. She's obviously going to take on a similar role to Garnet. Yeah. And it kind of that was that. And the most interesting thing the expansion does is in name and like superficial role, she's a reference to Garnet. But in what she is doing, yeah. she is a reference to Garland. And Garland. I think that's so sick. Oh no. <laughs> Don't pull a Garland. I think, I think that that double play is really cool. Because the 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 thing is she's trying to protect her people and her people are kind of like displaced in space. Um, basically, the lore of Final Fantasy 14, there's reflections of your your main world that are different worlds. Uh -huh. And hers is a is a reflection that was like ravished by a war and it was like a bunch of electricity and shit. And her whole thing is like, I want to protect my people and she wants to protect her people by essentially stealing souls from other worlds and using them to save her people. Oh, that's not. And it's a very, wait, very that's clear not... analog to Garland. Oh, right. FF9 Garland. FF9 Garland. Not FF1 Garland. Yeah, very clear analog to Garland. But still. Oh, supplanting no. Gaia. Don't do that. And I thought that's like, that's a really cool way to do the the, the twist. Right. Yeah. And I wouldn't say it's a twist because like it's just like from the moment you meet the character, there's in in like quest in cutscene questions of is she can we trust her? Do we really know what she's doing, what her ambitions are? Mm -hmm. Is she lying to us? So it's like it's it's not as if it's a oh it's so it's so surprising that that Sveen is betraying us. It's like it's it's more like okay we can kind of expect the betrayal, but we want to find out why she's betraying us. Yeah. Is she evil or is she actually got like a reason for this? Yeah. And I think that's a cool way to do a little homage to Final Fantasy IX. It's neat. Also the. The the new combat, the new melee job uh -huh. is a combat class that has two short swords that they combine into like a uh, ah. 
I already see where you're going with that. Yep, it's Zidane, yep. <laughs> nice. But they can't just call it Thief. No, no, no. no. Nor can they just call it Zidane. So it's <laughs> called Viper. Wait, what do you mean? That's what it's called. It's called Zidane. <laughs> All right. Yeah, all of them. Boring, right? yep. yep, that is all of them. Okay. Someone drew it. Yeah. I mean, half tea cost while boiling is typically when I summon it. That might be what I want to take over the one I just equipped. Mm-hmm. In fact, I might just do that now. Yeah, that's probably the best. Versus whatever I had on before. Yeah, I don't get that. Just agua. Where did I put it? Here? Yeah, I'll do this one. Was this tree always here? No, I, I, I don't think so. I think this is Kodama based. Air tree spirits. All right, here we go. I hope we're at 100%. Be a weird thing to miss something now. Ascending! That is a large object. All right, here we go. You, when the winds of the Kami first blew you onto the shores of our city, the prophecy of the teal lotus was a memory so faint that I regretfully let my guard down. Over time, I felt your presence growing from a vague discomfort to an unbearable itch. And now it, it would seem the itch desires to be scratched. Here we now stand together, overseeing the ruins of my ambitions. Curious, no? How the very heavens seem to conspire, after all I've done to try and avoid this moment. Asahi. Asahi, my brother, believes he's seen the light, yet he's blind to the grand tapestry I weave. At first, obedient to a fault, like a dull puppy, but he now wanders my empire in a fugue, whimpering for mother like the pathetic dog he is. And now, due to his profound incompetence, here you are, sent by the Kami themselves to snipe me in the final moments of my meteoric ascent to eternity. An inevitability to those that venture too close to the sun, let alone those that seek to replace that very sun altogether. Even as the embers of my kingdom rise toward the stars, I have no regrets. For I was the ambitious hand that turned the key that no one else dared to. Well, what do you think, Teal Lotus? The Kami demand an ending to their story. Even as I stand on the precipice of oblivion, I look to the heavens and scoff at those who look back down at me. I shall make swatting you down my final act of defiance. Come, let us end this. The moon waxes and the war drums roll as destiny draws its blade. Uh, well, just oh just immediately, God, okay. huh? The lead kind of gets like the little robots did. Yeah. Oh my god, what's that? Well, okay. <laughs> it's going fucking crazy. Oh, 
familiar with this one. Wow. Hey. Come on. <laughs> no. Uh. Not here. Oh my goodness. No, no. Oh my goodness. Didn't see any sword. Oh. Oh, it's the sword again. Uh oh. Oh, dead. Oh. I took too many hits trying to heal. I should have just ignored yeah. it. Yeah. My it's bad. all good. We'll try again. All right. Don't want to log at me. Let's just fight. Proper boss fight. Proper boss fight. He's gonna come in with the sword. I took two hits there. I think the best bet here is literally just to not engage. So they start to do this stuff.
Okay, phase three. Here we go. Wait, oh, I died. I died. Wow. The spikes did two damage. The spikes did two damage. That was rude. Well, that's a boss fight. Yeah. Just because I'm betting there's a fifth phase. Yeah, it probably comes back to the original arena. Yeah. Whew, all right. Well, just do the fight. Just do the fight good. You know what? Oh, good point. <laughs> That's faster.
I get to phase three with full health and two heals. Not bad. Yep. Although I need to remember to not heal in this phase. Yeah, this phase is too dangerous. going into phase four. Sword. That's whatever. You take one hit and then you're just out of that phase. like I beat him. Thus speaks the scroll. In prescient script, a teal lotus's path forever lit. It would seem the Kami's will flows heavy this night, and I have lost the strength to swim against the currents. I thought I could open, I thought I could pen my own story, spill my own ink onto celestial scrolls, the author of my own destiny, 
but the brush has grown heavy in my hands. But perhaps I can muster the strength to sign my name with one final flourish. If I myself cannot grasp eternity, then none other shall know it either. For we, Teal Lotus, are why the Kami cry. Quickly, Bo, this is the moment that we've been waiting for. I will bind him and you finish this. End it now. Deal the final blow. Now we beat him. Well, that's not good for you. Bo, we did it. After all that I've had to do, it's all over. I was too weak to stand up to Yuhi on my own. I faltered too many times, and it is something I regret terribly. But then I found you amongst the bamboo, newly bloomed and so full of hope. You then nursed me back to health, not knowing what atrocities I had committed, let alone what I would do in the future. I do not deserve forgiveness for what I've done, for nurturing the Titan, but please understand that it was the only way. Yuhi was wrong, you know. Living forever should never have been what we strove for. We enjoy our short time in this strange garden, meeting friends, growing stronger, and enjoying the view that looms endlessly around us. The end of our fleeting time here should not be mourned, but celebrated for having happened at all. Now it's time for my farewell celebration. With hope. May we meet again, Bo. Flower. Touch it. Oh. Oh. Ball. Ball. Dog. Dog. Is it going to come down? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Dog. Good dog. Drum. Oh, it's one of those things. I forget what they're called. Ken Dama. Ken Dama? No. Gotta get them on the top. Sure do. Yeah! Hello. What is this? <laughs> oh, okay. Those are also those are spinning drums. Yeah. Who are you? Momo. Bo, oh, darling. Isn't the celestial realm just divine? It's as warm and comforting as a pot of my finest tea. One of my finest memories is still sharing a cup of tea with you amongst the floating tea fields. Your company that day made me feel comfort in my final hours. Sahi did what he had to do. And now I find solace here. All is well, and all will be well forevermore. Oh my! What is that glittering in your cloak? A crystal mum petal? For me? You remembered. You really remembered. Thank you, Bo. I will hold this close to me as a reminder of our beautiful memories in the strange garden. Those full spinny fans. Yeah. Right on some cranes. It's our boy. What up? Don't worry about whatever happened there. Yep, 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 yep. Balance and it. <laughs> ah, Bo. You've graced the celestial realm with your presence. The air here feels like a lifetime of victories, doesn't it? You were my finest student back in Megumi Mountain. Your spirit gave me strength, even in my final moments. 
though my journey was cut short by Asahi's hand, I now know that I was a sacrifice for the greater good. I have found a lasting peace here. No regrets. Oh no! Good spin it! First I thought that was the Towers of Hanoi. Uh. Bird, wait! Okay. Hey. Okay, friend. Oh, you made it. This place. It's like returning home to a warm hearth after the war is won. We fought side by side against the Gashodokuro, soaring through the dangers in the Gumi Mountain and the Ice Caverns. Though the Gashodokuro took me down, I hold no grudges, knowing you were able to complete the mission. My warrior soul is at ease here. Yeah, oh. Oh, oh Bo, the Celestial Realm is so, um, heavenly. Even Ellie would love it here. You made my and Ellie's final moments truly happy. Asahi may have ended my journey, but I found a new one here. Ellie, I think she'd be happy for me. Why is that one the saddest? Yeah. Hey. Bo, it's good to see you. The Celestial Realm feels like an endless song, soothing to the soul. Your kindness led my lost Usagi clan back to the Crimson Bamboo Forest. I could finally rest, knowing they were home. My life may have been a tangled melody of both sorrow and joy, but here, the music vibrates in eternal harmony. What is that? Why is it sparkly? Can I smack it? Oh, no. I can smack this, though. Hey, 100% completion. Whatever that means. Hello. Oh, yep, it's that's Imperial what they are. Regalia. Mm -hmm. Yep. Where does Sahi go? We'll never know. Attack the war- oh. No attack the You do not have to attack the credits. Oh. You can't what attack you the credits in every game. What's up? If you can- if you can attack, you must attack. Yeah, well... this <laughs> this is a, a yacht club a small death team yacht club is in there yeah. rest in peace humble games hopefully the game can get picked up by a different publisher and updated on consoles yeah oh no, you're right it is that is updated on steam Plan, but the console the publisher agreements are weird. Yeah, apparently they just got locked out of their of the like the account. Yeah. Like minutes minutes after this game released. Uh oh wait, what? Yo, up the wall. you can just do this without holding to the wall. Oh, okay. Who knew? That would have made things a lot easier. All those times I went up and then yeah, immediately into spikes because I was holding direction. You don't have yeah. to. You don't have to. Good to know. <laughs> I think... Like, who knows what their intention for post-release for this game is, slash was, slash is. 
I think it's interesting that uh Fox boss, right? Yeah, yeah. Optional boss. Yeah. It's like guarding a natural conduit. And then there are various times you can look at a volcano in the distance that's a natural conduit. Yep. You can't go to those places. Eh. Well, maybe either, either, maybe they were just like meant they to might be, just be there for like flavor. Set, yeah, right? set, set pieces. I don't think yeah, we were... which is totally fine. But it would also be interesting if that's like Cut content. Maybe not cut content, but like planned DLC content. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, that, I mean, but I that's interesting. But that's in, but that's interesting that the um, the artificial conduit became a real conduit. Yeah. What are the implications? What are the implications? We may never know. But anyway, hey, these these people know how to make a Metroidvania. I want to see more from them now. This one was really good. Yeah. I'm talking, Maybe at least for me. Tone down, tone down the platforming challenge. I don't know. A lot of it was optional stuff that I was like, no, nah, we got to deliver that egg. You yeah, know? that is true. <laughs> that egg was perhaps the greatest source of consternation. Uh, we still managed. We still managed. Yeah. It's all good. I also think, um, I, I don't know how they could do this. Some clarity on checkpoints during the longer yep. platformer sequences. Yeah. Because initially we thought it was just safe spots, but clearly there was like some, some just checkpointing. Some weird right? checkpointing. Yeah. And like just some just, clarity just, on that would probably be a good. Yeah, thing. it doesn't it doesn't break the game or anything. No. You know, it doesn't ruin my enjoyment, but some clarity on that would be some nice quality of life. Yeah. Right. Little, like, little flag. Maybe have uh, those signs light up because there was a bunch of them. Yeah. I don't some, know. Something. Flowers bloom in the, in yeah, the flower something, zone. Something, something, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. Flavor it to each zone. That'd be cool. Yeah. If you didn't want to just put, like, a, a single element, you know. Right. Tommy's here. Yeah. Oh, Joro Gumo. Okay. I believe that was Spider Boss. Sign a core NPC. Oh, the dragon. The artisan, the Tengu. Oh, one of the Tengu. And. Okay, okay. Enemies. Yep, yep, yep. Citizens. Oh, all those, oh. all the people in the town were Kickstarter backers. Okay, gotcha. okay. Gotcha. Edible dog. Oh, wow, I designed achievements? Okay. Yeah. Why, why would somebody make that? The, the beat the game without healing achievement is a Kickstarter. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. where? Where? character count. <laughs> oh, is this was this the tier? Is this the one? No. 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 This is hard to read. At Maybe least alphabetical. 
But yeah, it's it's uh, just a block instead of like a column. Would have been nice to put them in columns. We made the credits longer. It would have, for <laughs> sure, for sure. Congra call in, uh, congratulations, now try hard mode? No. Tears, I guess. Huh. Interesting. What's that? Oh, I uh, well, I backed this game. I didn't see me in there. Oh no. <laughs> I was looking. Maybe, maybe the basic tier just didn't make it in. I don't remember what tier I had. And maybe the basic tier is just like, thanks for supporting us. Oh, yeah. We're not going to put all that in the credits because it's going to yeah. be way too much. <laughs> maybe, but let me, let me find out. Let me, let me find out because I can believe it. What was my, what was my tier? Uh, here's my question. How many achievements are you missing? I'm always curious to be like, what are, what are the uh, optional achievements for? Well, for I know like we this? didn't get the one where I don't. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven. So yeah, or... I didn't use a bamboo bat to bat a bat. OK, yeah, I didn't uh, do the bridge, do the bridge the without bridge dying. Sequence. I didn't stay airborne for an entire boss fight. I didn't uh... complete the game without healing. And the last three are beat the Shogun again. <laughs> Achieve a combo of 33 or higher on the Armakillo boss. Okay, it's, which I think it was, was the first boss, boss in the game. And then complete the game without dying, which yeah, great, well, thanks. Great, nah. thanks. I well, don't thank think you. I will. I don't think I will. <laughs> Why oh, bother wait, making that a hidden achievement? Wait, I should have I been in there then. I was in the Shamison tier. Oh, well. Oh, no. Well, I'm... No. I, I we we probably just missed it. Maybe. Yep, it totally should have been in there. Oh, I even made made sure to put my name in. Uh, hang on, is there a credits? Oh, there's no credits. Yeah, beat beat him again. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, coward. Oh uh, no. <laughs> okay, so hey everybody, that was Bo half the teal lotus. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, so I'm recording this after the fact, actually as I'm editing this, and uh, we had, after the stream ended, looked for the, uh, looked, for, looked for me in the credits here, and, and I am in here, so don't go like yelling at the devs or anything. There I am, we just completely missed it. The first time through. So yeah, alright. Hope you enjoyed watching, bye.